Hello, uh, my name is Ammu Tanklam Matthew and I've done my MA in Public Policy and Governance from Azim Singh Chi University, Bangalore. Currently, I am in uh, professional assistance for uh, Development Action, Pradhan, which is a not-for-profit working across India. So I'm currently placed at Gumla district of uh, Jharkhand. So I've been here for the last uh, three years. I joined in October 2020 and I'm still as a development apprentice, basically. There was one year of BA shift basically in Pradhan and uh, for the past one and a half, two years, I'm an uh, executor at Gumla team of Pradhan. I did my graduation in uh, economics, political science and sociology from Christ team to be University of Bangalore. I had an opportunity to uh, study a topic, yeah, a paper called public policy. So it was during that course that I came across the fact that by learning uh, different policies, I realized the fact that these policies which are designed by the center or the states have a major role to play in the everyday life of uh, the citizens of India, basically. These policies mold uh, their opportunities, their chances, uh, their happiness in the long run. So uh, I wanted to work further on that. Because somewhere or the other, I wanted to be or contribute in a way where uh, I could uh, support people uh, in framing better policies or framing a better future for themselves. In that journey, I came across Azim Brim University and uh, their course uh, called Public Policy and Governance. I came to a class where people had a lot of things to say. They were quoting Ramchandra Guha, they were quoting other academicians for every argument, everything, and I was just sitting there and I couldn't understand a single thing and I was worried also. I guess with the support of the faculties, I started getting used to the courses, the classes and the requirements basically of the course. There were a lot of readings, uh, there were a lot of papers that we had to write, we had tutorials where every week we were supposed to write on a topic and go back in small groups and sit with our professors basically and discuss on that. So in every discussion, we would read out each other's papers and we would discuss on it key what are the good things that, what are the strong arguments, what sort of writing is required, what are the weak arguments, what happened there. And it gave us an idea to improve our writing skills, our critical analysis skills, seeing everything from different perspectives because obviously four people together will have four different views on a topic. So it helps helped us diversify our understanding along with uh, the presence of a professor there helped a lot also. That was a really great opportunity. I remember staying at the hostel, I used to sit every day till 3 a.m. reading and writing articles. We used to have a lot of fun basically. I never thought ki academics could have been fun, like reading or being a bookworm would, would have been fun, but APU and professors and classes just made it so much satisfy basically. Every time we used to submit a paper and used to get grades and feedbacks on it, I knew that uh, I had improved compared to the last time and I knew that, I also knew that there's a lot more to improve, which I had a roadmap for in front of me. I still remember SIT's classes where used to come and teach us research, research methodology and it used to be so nice, like you learned a lot also and you used to it was such a pleasant class to look forward to. And we had a lot of chance to express. I never had a forum where I could express my views or like, let's say, raise my voice against something. And APU was just liberating in that sense. Coming forward, putting forward your idea. After Azim Rimji, then I had a chance to intern with Kudumbashri and Naro, which was another good opportunity for my exposure. So I interned with them on uh, with tribal communities and their livelihoods and another time with on FRA, FRA, Forest Rights Act. It was another whole different experience for me. That was the first time I had gone into the field to talk to the community, to understand what they are doing, spend time with them and talk to different stakeholders, understand what is happening in the field. So that piqued uh, my interest a lot. And working in the policy sector, uh, I believed uh, that a level of field experience was also necessary, hands-on field experiences was not also necessary, so that you can analyze better policies or draft better policies or contribute in a better manner for all these policies. So during my DA ship uh, uh, development apprenticeship, I came across a lot of instances where I had 
इशूज़ को भी फॉर एग्जाम्पल लैंग्वेज वॉज एन इशू क्योंकि आई एम नवर स्पोकन इन हिंदी एंड कमिंग ईयर एवरीबडी ओनली स्पोक इन हिंदी और इन सादरी सो आई वॉज सपोज टू स्टे इन अ विलेज फॉर द फर्स्ट फ्यू मंथ्स एंड दैट बिकेम ऑल टूगेदर मोर डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज इन ऑफर समबडी वुड हैव अंडरस्टैंड इवन यूज टू कैच वर्ड्स ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड दे कुड पीस इट टूगेदर एंड इवन आई कुड पीस इट टूगेदर इफ दे यूज इंग्लिश वर्ड्स इन बिटवीन बट दैट वॉज कम्प्लीटली आउट ऑफ द ऑप्शन इन विलेजेस so i remember being there i remember having a hard time struggling uh, but slowly slowly i started opening up to the community i started sharing with them ki these are my weaknesses these are things that i do not know but i would like to learn from them. so as i opened up to them they started also accepting me for who i am so i remember going to meetings sitting with the didis half of the things he used to say i couldn't even understand it was completely fine i had the opportunity to work on governance theme and uh, forest rights strengthening gram sabhas was one of them and uh, i remember working around gram sabhas going to different hamlets telling them about what a gram sabha is and we used to talk about fra in those gram sabhas working ar- with the community around uh, the idea of forest uh, forest conservation through planning through making uh, seed balls for deforestation so all these things were something i picked up along the way i had a chance to work with and it was it has always been amazing ki i know i want to work in the field but i really want to contribute more in some other way also so how can we figure that out what are my options so civil service is on the table everything is on the table i was confused and even now if there is any organizational requirement also if there is anything i want to know about governance per se or any courses that i want to design any modules I remember reaching out to them. I remember reaching out to Narayana for some of my for a support for one of my works. I remember reaching out to uh, Arun uh, if he could take a class yeah orientation sort of a thing for our pradhan professionals. They graciously agreed. My journey is not ending yet. The university and all my colleagues, my friends, my faculty especially would be there for me. This constant support na knowing that you can go back to your faculties or any help that uh, you need even now that is a huge thing that i guess azim prem ji university upholds so i'd say ki once you're part of azim prem ji university you'll stay a part of azim prem ji university